LasVegasDiscount.net's the best there is. Save up to 50% on your next Vegas trip. And travel, rental, shows, and tours. Find the deals you're looking for. LasVegasDiscount.net. LasVegasDiscount.net. If you're going to Vegas for deals that are the best, visit LasVegasDiscount.net. This is Brock Lesnar, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yo, hi, this is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen to Fight Net Radio. Me, Harvey Oswald, what's your name? I don't know how am I supposed to know you. This is Frank Shaman. You're listening to Fight Net Radio. Hi, this is Mia, the Knockout St. John. You're listening to Fight Net Radio, and there's no way I would ever touch Lee. This is Chuck Jackson. I am Stephen Bonner, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Dan Henderson, you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Everybody, welcome to Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where Lee's burning every <laughs> bridge there is out there. All right. Hi, this is Manny Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on Fight Network. But it's a fact. You know what I mean? I, how dare them even challenge me in these fighters? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? With their primitive boxing skills. You know what I mean? They're as good as dead. Of unexpected. We That's had, what you went with? Hi, everyone. We Welcome to Fight Net Radio. That's Andrew Labashev. My name's Lee Hanish. We are here to talk about the wonderful world of boxing. Andrew's role is the impassioned writer slash Saturday Night Alcoholic with, dude, have you gone back and listened to yourself? Yeah, yeah, sorry, Lee. Dude, you were out of control. I was ready to pull the plug. I freaking hurt my head on that one. Dude, that one was out of control. I tried (laughs) to stop you. (laughs) Still love Roy Jones. Roy Jones tried, you guys. He tries to talk some sense into that fight. No one's listening. No one's listening. Andrew's you know job I, is color commentary. My job is to bring you the news and say something clever and funny. We bring you the wonderful world of boxing. If you sign up, fightnetradio.com, you get two shows every week. You get us talking about boxing. And then on Wednesdays, we get the bookmaker in here and we give you uh, updates on general sports and how to bet for the weekend, including boxing and MMA betting. Uh, we tend to lean more towards mixed martial arts because. Bobby and I are into that. That's everything. You're up to date on Fight Net Radio. Please sign up, fightnetradio.com on iHeartRadio. Can't say enough. We thank all of you that are signed up and listening to the show and all the downloads. We've had a wonderful last couple of weeks of listeners. Uh, Andrew's show specifically, the one I like to entitle The Drunken Rage, um, (laughs) or Oscar Bought the Wrong Judge, is available for you to go and listen to. And it's quite fantastic. And the fact that it didn't cost us listeners is kind of amazing. We'll start right off. Uh, first, tell me about, uh, we'll catch up real quick. How's your fantasy team doing? One on one and one on both sides. Who's your quarterback? Uh, ben Rossenberger on one team and Derek Carr on the one that I drafted. How would you course. feel about having Trevor Simeon as your quarterback? I mean, does it, would it bring you pain to cheer for him? Yes. Um, Yes, it would. Even though on one of my teams, because I didn't draft anyone, right. whatever I can do to help that team out, bring some points to make it my team again. Because uh, I know, you know, any success you have with the team that you did not draft, uh, you're not getting in that league, right? Everyone's going to know that. At, right. At the That's end. what happened to my team. And I had to pick up Trevor <laughs> Simeon. As a Charger fan, it pains me. It didn't pain you last week, though, right? No, and it's not going to pain me this week. He's got <laughs> exactly. Buffalo. Exactly. Exactly. So I look the fact that nobody's using Ben Ross. Uh, I mean, uh, nobody's using Trevor Simeon as a quarterback, <laughs> and they still underestimate his points each week uh, is phenomenal to me. Like last night, I went to get a quarterback, and he was on the draft. He was on the board still, and you Lee. didn't take him. No, sir. Jared Goff, L.A. Rams. Boom. Good Took pick. Him. It's a good yes, pick. Yes, sir. It's a good pick. Well, I have Leonard Fort. Like I have all running backs. I went all running backs this time. Right. 
and I have three of the top running backs, and everybody wants one of my running backs, but they won't give me their – like I want Sammy Watkins from the Rams. I want like a receiver. And Do you have? To give are you in one? Of, are you in one of those leagues that give you multiple running backs? There's like you could put like I get three two running them? backs, and I have one on the bench. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, no, I'm this, using the I Yahoo. It's game. Yahoo. It's regular Yahoo. But I paid this time, so I nice. decided to up the ante this year on my fantasy sports. For those of you waiting for boxing, hold on. We'll get to it in a second. Uh, <laughs> this was the first year that I actually paid. So everybody puts in like 20 or 100 bucks or 1000 bucks like you can put in almost any dollar increment and then the winner of that pool gets a check. Sweet. So I'm playing technically a pay league this year. Sweet. I want a result for my Where, my What are you at? Where is your record? I'm 1 and 1. Same here. Same. I'm 1 and 1. I'm doing okay. I mean, I didn't uh, we talked about it on the show. I slept through my draft. <laughs> and so I came in and I had nothing but running backs because they were at the top of the board. And then I had Ben Roethlisberger uh, and some other half-cracked quarterback. I tried to get Alex Smith, uh, wound up with Trevor Simeon, kept Ben, uh, doubled down on my uh, running backs, cleaned up my receivers, took guys like Danny Amendola who were on concussion protocol, like I've got, I'm kind of sitting in a good position. Plus, I have two amazing defenses. At, at least mine's boxing related, you guys. I was watching possibly the future of the women's uh, uh, boxing. That's On the why night I didn't you do my draft. went through. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't do my draft. So this week was a good week for boxing, and we had a lot of boxing to talk about this week on boxing. As we talk a lot about boxing on this show, because all we talk about on this show is boxing, unless the boxing person is fighting someone in MMA, and there are rumors that the guy in boxing is going to fight somebody in MMA or the guy in MMA is going to fight somebody in boxing again. Again, yeah, December. That's a rumor that Kevin Ioli shot down, by the way. We'll see. I don't know why they're putting, you know. Kevin Ioli straight up said, untrue, fake news. There's smoke, there's fire. For those of you who don't know, Kevin Ioli is the lead... Uh, writer for Yahoo Sports. There was a rumor going around that after the Triple G Canelo fight, Canelo's people talked. Oh yeah, to not that one. Though. Conor yeah, McGregor. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's that bullshit. was untrue. Which one are you exactly. talking about? Just Conor coming back. Conor's coming back in December to the ring. Look, uh, I, I, no, that that rumor is generally true. He's going to be back in December to fight in the UFC. He has see. to, or he's got to give up see. his belt. Whatever pays more. Yeah. Look at if him and UFC, if he can make more money in the boxing ring, they're going to work a deal again. Well, it's not going to be Canelo and it's not going to be Triple G. And Canelo it's and Triple Paul G. Well and Aji, maybe, Lee. That's those two are tied up. Canelo you know and Triple that. G are literally tied up for the next two years. I love it. Yes, sir. Because yes, no sir. matter the outcome of the next fight, there's a third fight. No matter what. But I digress. Ah, that's, a cl- that's a close call. I don't know. Yeah, there's a third fight. It, unless it's unless somebody gets knocked out. If Triple G gets outboxed 12 rounds, um, I don't know if he wants to go back to that. He, he's he got a lot more fights he can do to make more money. You, do you want to end it all with Canelo? It's not like they're breaking the bank. He only made no, three and million. And the fact that they haven't released the U.S. numbers yet. Have you anything, seen the U.S. Right? numbers? On anything, Lee? We no, have, they've we released the international. Seen... No, no, no. They've inter, they've released international numbers. I've seen those on Twitter. Um, they've talked about Mexico. They've talked about. Uh, well, I was saying Kazakhstan. US they've talked about every country but our country. I, I was talking about both numbers for Mayweather McGregor and last week's fight. No, yes. I, and that's the smart move. If I were a promoter right now, this is the truth. If I were a promoter right now. There is no way that I'd release my U.S. numbers because ever since the fiasco that is Kovalev and Ward, which is arguably the best people fighting, like those fights should produce, you know, a couple, at least a million, at least a million buys. Should have, yes, sir. Should at least, at least, right? For there are at least, you're taking the blind assumption that there are at least a million boxing fans in the United States who would want to pay to see two of the best guys. And you know why people aren't paying it? 
I'm going to tell all the promoters listening the secret. Why nobody's paying for your fights. One, we can get it for free by finding it on the internet. That's number one. Number two, your fight cards suck balls. Suck tennis balls. balls. We're not going to we're not going to cuss on the show, right? So they suck <laughs> tennis balls. The fight cards suck tennis balls. That's all you heard. Yeah, that's all you heard on both on both nights. Um, I mean, even the Conor McGregor, we're going to stack this card to the. No, no, no you, you heard didn't. it on that. No, night you too. didn't. You no, you didn't. You gave me the Gervonta same old Mayweather Davis. crap. Hey, what about Gervonta? Misses weight, punches guy in the back of the head, gets knockout victory. Now he's charged with first degree assault on the street. I don't like know that. what he did. There's no details been released yet, but he has been booked for first degree assault. You got to appreciate that. Let's talk about first, actual first, fights that have occurred, degree, Andrew. Le- yes. First degree assault, just so the fans know. That means it was planned, correct? Yeah. First degree. First that degree. They, Premeditated. They some, That's uh, exactly. yeah, something they like that. They have some kind of evidence where uh, he released a text message. Hey, let's get this guy at the bar or at the club. They got something on this kid, but that's not good. It is what it is. He was the future. Now, might be the future of Adrian Broner. Come on. Let's go, Lee. Go ahead. Real boxing now. Real boxing. This week, we had a big week of lots of weak. Oh, sorry. It wasn't weak boxing. It was good boxing. Let's start off with last night. Linares edges out Campbell to keep the lightweight title. What? In an extremely tight fight, Jorge Linares retains the light world. During our mid to move 2017 clearance event. World lightweight world championship by split decision against Luke Campbell on Saturday night in front of the 4,000 people at the forum. Well, if you drop the prices, maybe fans would show up for a lesser cards. Two judges scored the fight for Linares, 115-112, and one judge scored it 114-113. Well, one had it 115-113. There we go. 115-112, 114-113 for Linares, 115-113 for Campbell. Majority decision. ESPN.com scored the fight 115-112 for Linares, which is probably pretty close to the truth. Um it is what I it is. They were gonna take it there was a second round knockdown. <laughs> uh, Linares, who scored a second round knockdown, uh, without the knockdown, Linares probably doesn't get the victory here. Andrew, you watched this fight with great intensity. Please tell me what you thought. It was a close fight, really close fight. Look, Linares, Linares got the knockdown early. He was way faster than the kid, but he fell in love with this power, Lee. He started turning into a one-punch fighter, and the kid was fighting back. The kid's throwing combos. The kid was confident going into the late rounds. Um, I had the fight close. I thought they were going to take it from Lenatas. You know politics and boxing. Look at what I think helped Lenatas was California. He was fighting in During California. California only knows Oscar De La Hoya around here, right? And that's a golden boy fighter because... It's one of those fights where they could have took from them real easily. Uh, those 4,000 fans, let me tell you, a majority of them were there to see Campbell. Campbell will be back. Great showing for his first fight. Lee, me and you know, I've always been a Linares fan, correct? Jorge Linares, he's one of those um, dark horses. He's a he's a smaller Ezra Landi Lara, people. Put it that way. He's always been there. No one really gives him his opportunity or his credit because he just doesn't have a big fan base from Venezuela. Fought in Japan, now lives in the UK. Um, he did good. Campbell did good. D- Campbell did great for his first fight in this type of level, coming overseas, taking on a fighter like Lenatas that really no one else wants to fight. Eddie Hearn backs him. I thought the kid had a shot. I really did. When they announced those scorecards, they were close. I told my lady, <laughs> you guys like that, huh? I said, if these scorecards are are far, it would go to Linares. But if they're close, he has a shot. And they were close. And I thought they were going to take it from Linares just on politics. But Oscar got him. He got that win close. He got the close rounds that he should have. Put it that way, Lee. The champion got the rounds that he should have. Where sometimes in boxing, we see rounds that go to a certain fighter just because they were close and he has the upper hand on the markability side. Um, But great fight. Both guys should be back. 
This was not the fight of the weekend, but it was a very entertaining fight. Um, 